My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talus One research facility. The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. Hi, this is Rafael Colantonio. I'm the president of Arkin Studios and creative director on Prey. Hey everybody, this is Ricardo Baer. I am the lead designer on Prey. At Arkane, we love games that blend simulation and narration, like Dishonored. We do games you can play the way you want. Prey is another one of those games. Welcome to Talos 1. Because of the open-ended structure of the game, the player can go pretty much anywhere they want on the station, but right now our mission is to find a scientist named Dr. Calvino. Some of our aliens turn into things as a mean of camouflage. Lots of ways to solve problems on Talos 1. Weapons are one of them, but weapons are rare. Okay, so this is one of the most important item in the game. It's called the Neuromod, and uh, this is how the player uh, upgrade himself. So here is the RPG layer of the game. You could see this map, status, inventory, and these are the list of uh, this is the list of abilities that we have. So some of them are human, some of them are aliens, which you learn by stabbing a needle into your eye. This is the glue cannon, a tool that has a lot of different uses. This is an alien power called Super Thermal. 
We recently acquired it using the newer mod. Okay, so we're gonna use the roster system in order to try and track Calvino down, but the door's locked. So we're gonna take this opportunity to demonstrate one of our unique alien abilities called Mimic. So in the game, you can actually learn your powers from the aliens. So it's only fair that you too can turn into a cup. The roster system helps players locate anyone aboard Talos 1. The glue cannon can also be used for traversal. That was a phantom, one of the other kinds of aliens aboard the station. And this is a third way to use the glue cannon. So this item is called a recycler charge. In the game you can recycle pretty much anything, either to here declutter an area, or to use as a weapon. Now the Recycle elements that come out of it are actually ingredients for a fabrication system that we'll show in a moment. Aliens aren't the only threat aboard Talos 1. Mimic can be used also for stealth. Inventive players will be able to chain powers together. So right now this player needs to get up onto that elevated platform. So they're going to combine Mimic with Kinetic Blast. Okay, so this is the fabrication system. So here are the ingredients I was talking about earlier, and uh, this is the fabricator. So as long as you have fabrication plans, you can create any object that is in the game. Here we're creating an object to fly in zero-g. Talos 1 is a massive space station, so here we've modeled the entire exterior which the player can use to chart their course between missions or just for exploration. We've located our missing crew member, let's head back in. Okay, now we're going to see uh, another ability that you can upgrade called Leverage Level 3, which allows you to pick up huge objects and use them as a weapon or just to clear a path. 
but players will have to be careful sometimes installing alien neuromods because on occasion it will attract the attention of other aliens. Golden Nightmare, for a reason. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Prey comes out spring 2017 on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4.